In this video I'll be showing you guys how to mod your PlayStation 1 Classic with Bleem Sync and if you follow this correctly you should be able to mod your PlayStation 1 Classic in under 5 minutes. All you need for this video is the PlayStation Classic itself and some kind of USB. I just got a 4GB basic USB here. I would recommend using one of a larger size. Maybe 64GB and above is pretty good. I'm just going to use this. This is one I've just got lying around. So I'm going to go and connect this to my computer right now and I will show you guys what to do from there. So once you guys are on your computer and you've got your USB plugged in, the first thing we want to do is just find your USB here. We want to right click it, we want to scroll all the way down and click on format. On this section we want to choose capacity, just make sure that is the same. File system, choose that as FAT32. Allocation size, put this as default allocation size. Where it says volume label, in all capitals you want to call it Sony, just like that, S-O-N-Y. And then just make sure quick format is ticked, click start, click on OK and it's going to format your USB. If there's anything on here make sure to back it up because it will be deleted we can just click on ok and now just click on close so the usb i'm going to be using is around 3.74 gigabyte i would recommend using another one if you want to copy across games and stuff like that i just wanted to make this video as quick as possible and that is the usb i had to hand so once we've got this next thing you want to do is just go to the link in the description of this video so this is the link right here. This is the Bleem Sync webpage. What we have to do from here is just scroll all the way down and we're looking for this section that says where to download. We have to download both of these files. So we have to download Bleem Sync 1.1.0 and the Bleem Sync 1.1.0 custom kernel. So just click on both of these and these are going to start downloading. They're pretty small files. One of them is six megabytes. The other one's about 1.2 megabytes. So let's head over to my downloads now and here are my two files. The first thing we have to do is get the Bleem Sync 1.1.0 Point zero. Right click and select extract here. So once that is done extracting, it's actually going to give us two types of folders. It's going to give us a Bleem Sync folder and this folder with a load of random letters and numbers on. We want to select both of these and drag and drop these onto the root of our Sony USB. So they aren't really that large in size, about 136 megabytes in total. So we are going to wait for this to copy across and when it's done we can go onto our PlayStation Classic and we can actually get this working. Okay guys, so here is my PlayStation, here is my USB. The first thing we want to do is actually just get your PlayStation and make sure you just take out the power cord. Now we're going to get our USB and we're going to put this into the Player 2 slot. So just put it in there just like that. And now what we can do is put back in our um, power. And then you should see the orange light just like that and what we want to do is just press the power button and now it's just going to turn green and now you can actually just look at your TV screen. So if you did everything correctly it's going to say Bleem Sync just like this and if you have a look at the top it says creating a file system backup. It will take a couple of minutes. So for this we just have to wait. I'm going to say five minutes although I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to wait. I will tell you how long it took when it's done and um, yeah that's all we can do just wait. So once it has finished, your TV screen is just going to display as no signal or just completely black. And your PlayStation should have the orange LED on it. What we can do from here is actually just take out our USB. You can leave it plugged in and everything just like that. You just want to make sure you remove your USB. And we're just going to go and plug our USB back into my computer. Okay guys, so quickly back on my computer, we're going to go and look at our USB right here. We're going to double click to go into the Beam Sync folder and it's going to be a backup folder. These are the original kernel files from your PlayStation Classic. I would definitely recommend making a backup of this. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this on my computer. So I'm going to go to right click, copy, then I'm just going to go back to my downloads folder right here and I'm just going to do right click and paste. I've then kept a backup of my original kernel files. I would definitely recommend doing this just in case anything goes Goes wrong. Next we need to find this other file we downloaded, the lboot.ebp. We're going to drag this and we're going to drop this into the update folder. Again, just give this a couple of seconds to copy across. We're now done on the computer, so make sure you copy across your backup file and you drag across your update file. Now we can go back onto our PlayStation and let's get this thing working. Okay, so next we have to do the same thing again. Make sure you go and take out your power cable. Now we're just going to put in my USB. And now we can just put the power cable back in. Now you just want to wait for the light to go orange and now we're just going to click on power. 
so it's going to do this bleem sync thing again this one does not take as long um, this should just install the update file so we're just going to wait as you can see updating kernel in five seconds do not turn off your console Okay guys, so the light is going to be flashing green. You have to wait until it goes orange. As you can see, mine right now is completely orange and that is fine. Now what we should be able to do is um, take everything out. You can add an OTG adapter if you want to, or you can just power it on like normal. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to go and power mine on right now. And what it's going to do is just boot up into the boot menu. So we've got a choice. We've got RetroArch or we've got Bleem Sync. You can press X on either one and it will actually boot into it. So that is how you quickly install Bleem Sync onto your um, PlayStation Classic. As you can see, it's got all my games and stuff from here. I'm going to make another video where I can show you guys how to add all games. We also have RetroArch on here, so I will make a video showing you guys how to use that as well. And um, yeah, you can also go back to the boot menu. That is just that icon. You can press X um, to actually just enter that. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this quick video. That is how you install Bream Sync very quickly on your PlayStation Classic. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.